Hi everyone, it's Chris from Calla Lily Studio. Today I was going to show you how I put together my uh, baby crib card. I had a several requests that asked um, if I could do a video. I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I would give it a try. I think first I'm going to list the things that you'll need to cut out. Um, you do need to have a piece of cardstock which is nine and a half by four and a half, nine and a half inches long by four and a half inches wide. Then you'll want to score it on both ends at two and a quarter inches. So you'd score it and then flip it over and score it at two and a quarter. Turn it um, vertically on your scoreboard and um, score it just to that first score line that you made at one and a quarter on each side. I don't know if you can see it, but um, so you'll just score it to that first score line. And then on the same um, air end, go ahead and score the other end at one and a quarter to the first score line. And that's what you would do there. Then I would take it, as I've done here, and just cut away that corner and follow the, that score line, one and a quarter inch down. And you'll end up with um, this. I also would take and mark the, just with a little pencil, I marked the, um, as you can go ahead and fold on your score line, uh, go ahead and mark with a pencil the middle of this flap right here, which I think is two, uh, one and an eighth. And I just made a little mark on both ends so I'd know where the middle was. Because the next thing you're going to do is take your, and I think this is uh, Stampin' Up, Stampin' Up's Decorative Punch, I believe is what they call this. I take this to make the legs of the crib. You can see that it has a little nub here. Don't go all the way down to the nub. I would go about halfway, unless you want uh, deeper legs. Your, your midpoint will help you to center it. And then a little bit up from the center and cut. And then um, you can do the same thing with this on both sides. Go to now here's the halfway point. You don't want to do that. You're, you've got it in the middle, about right about here, about halfway down, and and punch. And that will give you your your base card, pretty much like this. Now what I did was I did go and take it and I rounded my corners. Uh, that's up to you. You can have a square corner if you want, but I actually rounded my corners on both ends so that you would have something like this. On my original card I also uh, punched out on the back here but I decided that it had more stability if we didn't punch the back but you can do whatever you decide but I kinda liked it. You'll see that this is a variation of almost a card in a box if you've ever made one of those. But There's your base. So next you'll want to cut out two strips. Um, these are seven inches long by one inch wide. And on these you're going to score on both end at one inch. So score at one inch and then just flip it over and score it an inch again and do it on both of them. You're also going to want to cut out two of Tim Holtz's you have Tim Holtz's birdcage die. I love this as a birdcage. Uh, but I'm going to use it for the rails on my um, crib. You want to cut out two of them and then you'll also need to cut two, I call this the bar, this is the bar uh, for the railings, um, two of these. These are five and three quarter inches long and one and a qu uh, five and three quarter inches long and a quarter inch uh, wide. So they're quite narrow. And then you score it at three eighths inch on both ends. So take one and score it at three eighths and then turn it and score it at three eighths. And there's two of them, one for the top and one for the bottom. And then lastly, you need two, uh, these are the inserts, I call them the inserts. This is at um, two and a half by three eighths inches wide. And I'll show you how to use those later. So, the first thing you're going to want to do, you can either put it on your uh, cutting board or you can cut it manually just cutting um, the top part of this off and go just above the holes and cut that piece off. So you could do it manually or you can put it in your um, 
cutting board. Whatever works best for you. And then just cut the holes off. Right above the holes. Now I've already done that with these two. You are going to take it and um, overlap just two. Two on the rail. So you're going to take it and overlap two. You're going to glue it down. All right, glued it down. And I use this uh, timeline applicator. It's got a fine tip, which I love when you have really narrow places to put glue. I think I use the uh, Tomboy glue and just fill it with this. I, I bought all kinds of glue, so I've kind of forgotten, but as long as you can get glue on there, and look, I get it all over everything, but, and then just overlap it, push it down, and you should have 12, 12 railings going across. If you've done it right, you'll have 12 of those railings going across. So the next thing you want to do is, I think I would attach the bars for the top and the bottom. And so what you want to do is, and I'll show you if I can get it in camera here, <clears throat> you'll want to run some glue along the top of those railings. And then, since you've scored these, you want to center it right between the score lines. So if you can look at that, flip that over, see if you can see this and lay it really as best you can right in the center of those score lines like so and then you'll want to do the same thing on the um, on the bottom and I'll do that let me show you how you do it bottom's a little easier it's got a little bit more even if the the little bumps along the bottom show, I think you're alright. So center it right in the middle, if you can, the best you can, of the uh, score lines. So here is your railing. So I've done that already with this one, you can see. And then I have added, I've taken one of the um, inserts, I call it an insert, and I've attached it to the end where the right up to where the score line is. This is what's going to attach it to the um, front of the box. So if you just put glue on these little tabs right to the score line and then attach attach that Hold it for a minute. Make sure it bends because you want to be able to make sure each end has a flap. Now what I will do is kind of cut this at an angle because that's going to be, if you, you don't necessarily need to, but I'm finding that I don't want it to show over the box, so just cut that at an angle. And so that is your railing. So the next thing to do would be attach everything to the base card. So here's your base card. I like to measure in on this card about, well, not quite, um, uh, not quite a half an inch somewhere, just so I get an idea of where I'm going to place my. Well, I call this the mattress because this really is the mattress. Now would be a good time to decorate your card, you know, to put your decorative paper on the back. You can even do the ends. Um, probably this would be a good time to do that because it's a little harder to do it once you've put everything together. I call this the mattress. This is really your mattress. So if you want the mattress to have any kind of decorative paper on it like I've done here, um, you would want to put that on now. But just for demonstration's sake, I'm going to show you um, how to add this to your base card. So make sure it does go either way. I put score tape on the ends. You can use glue, uh, whatever, whatever works for you. So let me take the tape off. So you're going to put your mattress on next. I have a 
Hi, I had a little glitch with my camera and so it dropped off a whole section so I'm doing another another video just to show you what, what was missed. Um, the mattress piece which I was just starting to add to the card at the end of the last video. Um, let me show you the two pieces that are seven inches long. You're going to adhere those one inch ends um, by putting just a little bit of glue on the ends. I think this is the piece I kind of omitted. Um, so each end you're going to glue like so. So that each end has stuck together hopefully. Squeeze it a little bit so it will stay. And so you end up with what I call the mattress. And then I squeeze it to make sure that it does rotate from side to side. So that's your mattress piece. I um, add score tape to mine, but you can certainly use um, glue. Whatever adhesive you like best is easy to use here. I, some, this is like card in a box, although I find card in a box sometimes hard to add this. This is easy. You're going you're gonna to like this. This is an easy way um, to add it to the, to the center of the card. So, I'll burnish this again just to show you. Alright, so then I think this is where we stopped off. We pull the um, tape off. You've made your mark. I think I not quite a half inch. I've made a mark so that I can see. I don't want my crib to be too high. You don't want the, the mattress to be up here. You're going to want it low. I try to keep it just above the legs that I've made and you're going to lay it down leaving enough room and hopefully making it straight um, across. You're going to lay it down. You take your your score tape or your glue you'd want to put on now. Take that off and once you know that that is straight all you have to do is close this side of the card to adhere that other end. And you can see it goes back and forth. So that was the piece I think that was missing. Um, I don't know what happened to my camera, but that's how you add what I call the mattress to the card. And just make sure it goes back and forth. All right. Usually this card will, um, I don't know if I had some malfunction on my camera here. I'm sorry if that interrupted. Um, but usually that will um, close better one side than it does the other. It does close, but you'll find it, it probably closes better this way then. But it does close. So the last piece is putting on, so if you want to put on some lace or if you want it, you can leave it plain if you want. Now's the time you would put that on. The last piece is adding the rails to the front of the card. And so you've left enough room here on the end to put it in. I've put um, score tape. Did I do it on both ends? Nope, I didn't put any score tape on that end, so I will put that on now. And this is, I think, one quarter inch here that I'm using. Go right there. And let me take this one off. I do like to burnish it a little bit if I can find my, and I can't, so just make sure you rub it on. Oh, here it is your score tape on there really well <clears throat> and both ends. So here we will add the railings. So here you want to put it right on the very edge. I want that edge to come to be right there where the railings are. That's how I like to do mine. You can decide to do it differently and I want to make sure right there I'm going to just straighten it a little bit. As close to the edge as you can get it is best. And I like the bottom of the mattress to be above the railing. You can decide what you want to do, but I think I think that looks the best. And then, then the, the next hardest thing is to make sure that you have it straight. So I've got my score tape. I'm going to take that off. Making sure, if you can see as best I can, that this is, now let me do it this way so I can see, that this is straight and it is 
on the edge. There you go. And then I would press it down to make sure. Hopefully that was on camera. And that is your card. That's how I put it together. So you can put your sentiment on the back and add um, your decorative piece. I um, started one here. I, I used the, um, oh gosh, I had Marianne Designs as a new, or not a new, but an old one. New to me, I just bought it. Uh, die that I've seen around and I thought wouldn't that look cute up there so I added it to the top of the crib rather than putting the mobile and I haven't added my my rail to this but I will and I added a little bit of lace here I, was, I came up a little short over here but I think when I put the railings on it won't show so I'm in the process of decorating that one but that is pretty much it as I said when I also added here it's a Martha Stewart border that I added there just for fun because it's hearts. I had a lot of fun making this and adding different things. So hopefully you'll make your own. I'd love to see any any that you attempt and if you have any questions I hope you let me know. Thanks for watching.